everyone, it's Maria here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to thank everyone that watches my channel and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it. And um, I just wanted to just very quickly um, address the issue that I had left Stampin' Up. Um, this was done three months ago, so I'll just go into a little bit more depth. Um, there was nothing, anything bad about the company at all whatsoever. It's just that I was very overwhelmed and kind of not sure where I wanted to go with this uh, with this whole journey. Um, one thing I know for sure is that I really enjoy uh, making projects and cards to show you on YouTube and I find that really rewarding and fun. Um, so I want to continue doing that. Um, in saying that, with the three months that I have uh, had off, so it's basically, it will be three months, yeah, come Thursday, exactly three months, um, I learnt a lot about myself, about what I'm capable of, not capable of, what I want to do and which direction I want to take. So with that opportunity where there was no pressure and, and, it, and things like that, I then thought things through and um, I've decided that basically I will continue on this journey. I do love Stampin' Up! product and I will return as a demonstrator. When that will be, I will let you know, but it's going to be very, very soon. So I can tell you that as, as a 99.99% .99 guarantee. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, this, this was a good time for me to reflect on things and which direction I wanted to take. So sometimes you just need to step away in order to see things from a bird's eye view, really assess things, um, and then go back and fix it or just don't do it anymore so for me I want to come back and um, and I'll do things a little differently but psychologically as well I will um, have a different mindset which was I think what's going to be helping me so in any case I'll stop all this now and today I'm just going to get onto a project um, <clears throat> because I haven't been a demo I haven't ordered anything but uh, I will be using an existing product so what I'll be using is animal outing with their matching um, animal friends dies that's like this these are super cute today I'll be using a kangaroo this is a thinking of you card and the sentiment I'm using is from the rooted in nature stamp set this is a two set stamp set I'm using the thinking of you sentiment I really love that sentiment so I'm using that these um, the stitch shape dies as well um, I'm using the largest circle and here are the squares and then behind you get the other two shapes I'm using the largest circle I have already pre-cut this because I needed this for another project and in the end I decided not to use it so this is just lying around spare so I'll be using this today so if you've ever die cut at anything and you've never um, used it keep it and then use it for another project so that's what I'm doing here today so we'll get started on it I'm also going to be using Pear Pizzazz ink early espresso Mary Merlot pumpkin pie and crushed curry and I thought I'd do an Australian themed card since um, I haven't done that and I haven't really utilized this stamp set well enough the animal outing one so I thought it would be a great time to bring that out again so for today I'm using crumb cake cardstock which is half an A4 and scored in half again of course you can use whichever card base you wish I'm going to use my bone folder and burnish that score line that I always prepare in advance just to not waste time I've got two pieces of whisper white cardstock one to layer on top so I basically have an A6 card base and then I cut a quarter of an inch off there and there and then I've got one for the inside as well and then I've got some scrap piece of whisper white cardstock so we'll get started I'm going to do a lot of ink blending today uh, actually to start off with I'm going to stamp the kangaroo so I'll just take out all of these foam pieces. We don't need that. I'll stick my piece of paper in there. My Whisper White. I'm going to get the kangaroo. It's so, so cute. And it's got a little koala in there. How cute. So I'll just stamp that up here. And 
And this is the older style cling, so I use clear grip um, on my Stamparatus or on any other stamping platform. And yeah, I find that it helps to make them stick more. You can find those in the haberdashery store, and usually they help with um, making your rulers and things not stick, but they work great for our Stampin' Up! older cling style. So I'm using early espresso. I'm going to ink up the kangaroo. ink that up again because it's very very light I don't know why this ink is so light looks like I'll have to get some re-inkers I hardly used it anyway let's just stamp that a bit more I want to do it a fourth time because this is quite dry. I didn't realise I hardly used it and it's gotten dry. Oh well, let's do that again. Make sure it's nice and intense. Okay, that will do me for now. And I'll just clean that off. Use my microfiber cloth, get rid of that. All right, I will be using the Stamparatus again later on, but for now I'll keep that in here. So what I'm going to do with that is just let it dry for a while. And put this back in its spot. And I'm going to bring in my craft sheet which I love to ink blend on. I've just dropped my sorry, I've just dropped my blender pens. We'll need those too. So I'm going to do some colouring, especially of this cute little image. So I've got that there. And I'm going to grab one of those panel pieces of um, Whisper White. And I'm going to start off with the Mary Merlot, oh no, sorry, pumpkin pie. to grab the uh, large stitched circle and I'm going to do that in its entirety in pumpkin pie and I'm going to make it pretty dark now again I don't want it to be perfect so it's got like imperfections in it and that's exactly what I want so I'll leave that over there. Now, with my scrap piece of paper where I stamped the kangaroo, I'm going to just ink blend some pear pizzazz. Now what I want to do with that is with the animal friends dies, there's a little branch I want to cut that out a couple of times, about two, three times, so that's what I'm using that for. And I like the look of it, um, it looks more natural. Okay, so that's done. So I'll give this a quick clean. Have a 
quick check and see that it's all come off yes I'm going to bring this piece of paper back in and I'm going to ink blend some early espresso down the bottom I want to stamp, so I'm just going to go over the top like that. I'm going to put this over here somewhere. I want to bring in now the thinking of you sentiment. So I'm just going to have a little feel of where I want it. So I want that to be uh, down here. So I'll get my Stamparatus, and this is the perfect reason why I like using it. Since that ink pad has dried up a little, Stamping the thinking of you down here is, is perfect. So I'll just make sure it's super dark. out perfect okay so we can put that away we will not need the stamparatus anymore with this I would like the the look of haze so I'll just bring in a sheet of paper I'll bring my um, brush and I'll just add a little bit of Mary Merlot just a tad um, just to make it look like haze and I think that adds a nice touch to it and I'll need that piece of paper because I am going to now color in that gorgeous little um, kangaroo. My coloured pencils, so you can use whatever colouring medium you wish. Um, so I'm going to use my Faber Castells. They have been a favourite of mine for a very long time. So I'll continue to use them. <laughs> um, so with the kangaroo, um, the colour I would like. will be like the equivalent of, say, um, soft suede. So I'll just colour that lightly with a light colour to begin with and then I'll go, then I'll go in with a, um, like a, uh, an early espresso afterwards. Now this does not have to be precise at this stage. Look, I really dislike the way this has turned out, so I'm going to re-stamp it again um, on this side here, and I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black, so just bear with me, I'm going to stamp it off camera and I'm going to start again. Okay, so what I've done on camera is I've decided that I didn't want to use the um, Early Espresso stamped kangaroo, so I'm going to use, uh, I re-stamped it again off camera using my Stamparatus. Um, with Memento Tuxedo Black. So this should work out better. I just don't like that the colours ran. So I'm going to go through the same colour again. So I'm going to um, pull you down so you can see it in detail. So I'll just colour that in with the previous brown that we used. This is like an equivalent of, say, um, soft suede.
And I think I am done now with the blending. So if you've got lines on the outside, um, try and blend them out. If you've gone out of the lines like I have, I'm by no means perfect. Sometimes you can use it as, as shading too, if you wish. So, oops. All right, that will do. All right, I'm going to now um, zoom you out. And I'll just put all my pencils away. I'm going to grab my Big Shot and I'm going to cut out the kangaroo first. So I'm going to use the matching dies, Animal Friends dies. to do was stamp the kangaroo so I'll stamp that kangaroo just on the bottom down here I think that will be cute so I'll bring that back out again forgot to do that I'll always do that though yeah just put the kangaroo down here And I'm going to use um, early espresso. Now, see, I made a mark there because it wasn't 100% dry. But I'll use my early espresso now. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll just let that dry. All done. So what we'll do to start off with is we're going to um, glue the inside panel and I'd like to use my PVA glue. You can use whatever glue you wish or tape runner, whatever you like. So that's that one there. Uh, the next thing we're going to glue down is the front panel here, the Thinking of You, right there. Actually, I'd like to splash that with a little bit of water. Bear with me. I'm just going to wet my fingers and I'm just going to give this a little bit of a splash just to add some interest. Just hold on a second. I've got my fingers a bit wet, so I'm just going to splash it with water. And whatever happens, happens. <laughs> All right. So now... I'm just going to just wipe it off and it adds a really nice and interesting kind of a texture to the background as well so I'll just show you that up close and I don't care that a little bit of water fell there in a big blob that's what makes it interesting and artistic I think okay so I will now pop this on here Stick that to the front panel of the card. And I am loving how this is turning out. Really pretty. All right, so this is like the sun. Pop that there. And I'm going to stick 
the kangaroo right in the middle of that and then I think I'll just add some leave the leaves like so so I'll go like that and like that and we'll cover up that bit of that blob so it doesn't matter but I'll give that a little coverage there as well and I think this turned out really cute all right so we'll put that all together now okay so as as they are lying there I will bring this as a guide okay so just put a bit of glue not big blobs just tiny little blobs this over here like that pop that over I love creating just love it it's very therapeutic for me which is why I can never really give up <laughs> I can't I can't stay away from it All right, so that goes there. That's stuck down. Now I'm just going to use this as a guide. And okay, get my tweezers because this is really thin. Kind of looks like eucalyptus trees, but not a hundred percent. But kind of. Um, so that's why I went for this kind of little branch. It's really cute. There and then I'll just go like that with this one. Like so. Okay, and with this, I'm going to stick it like, oops, like that. So I'll add some glue all around. Stick that right up there. Okay, and then for the kangaroo, I am going to uh, put that up on some dimensionals. So I'll just stick the kangaroo right there and I'll put that on dimensionals. This is turning out so, so cute. I'm so pleased with it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we'll just stick some here, here, here. And with the edges, I will put some onto the tail. So I'll just grab my snips. So don't ever do away with those. Just cut that off. Put that over here. Okay, so just stab it in the middle. Oops stuck that back on and take that off and this off and 
Alrighty. So now I'm going to stick my kangaroo right there. There's a bit that's sticking out there, so I'll stick that behind. And there we have it. I hope you liked today's card. And look at that inside. Isn't it cute? So I'm going to send this off to a friend of mine to let her know I'm thinking of her. And I thought, with all the events that's happened here in Australia, with the um, bushfires and what have you, um, I thought this was quite um, a cute idea. And to also remind us how grateful we should be if we have our things, our health and our safety. And... Um, and also, just I just thought I was very proud to be Australian, so I thought, why not make an Australiana-themed card as well? So I hope you like today's card. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to just leave a comment below. And, um, and I hope to see you again next time. And, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share this video to anyone that you think may be interested in this uh, this tutorial or my channel even. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you again very soon next time. Bye.